a video of your machine and this is the quick and condensed version of how to use a centerless grinder. And so what you're going to do is, this is Nate, say hi Nate. Hello. Okay. So when you have questions, you're going to call Nate. And when you have questions, what you're going to do is you're going to set up a video uh, link and Nate will either Skype with you or do something like that when you get it to set it up so you can grind. Um, but for the quick version of the whole thing, uh, what you have and what you learn, grinding wheel, regulating wheel, work rest blade, okay? To make the regulating wheel go faster, you turn that this way, and you'll see it go up and down. For what we're grinding here, we're doing about eh, 19, 20 RPM, somewhere in that range. Okay. Then when you dress the regulating wheel, which is this wheel here, you'll make, you'll make it go to 500. And that's Brandon making all the noise. So, so basically, you won't have to listen to Brandon back there anymore because he just got paged. So what you do is you turn that up, okay, and it's going to grind at about how many RPM? You're going to try for 30. Okay, 30 RPM, and um, and never, ever, ever shut the machine off at 500 RPM. It will make really bad noises and bad things will happen. Okay. So what you got is you've got cooling fluid and you got hydraulic oil and I'll send you a little bit of each and you'll mix it and life will be happy. And um, the cooling fluid I'll send you is going to be a little different color than that, but it'll work the same. Okay. Go ahead, Nate. You're in charge. All right. So we've got the wheels open. The wheels are open. I know that because my lever's off to the left. I've touched off on my part with the wheels turned off. So what you want to make sure is this is, wheels are off. Levers are closed, and you bring the wheel in, so you touch up on the part with the wheels off, to ensure that you can get to your final diameter. And, and how do you change diameters, Nate? Change diameters by loosening your lock, tapping the handle to the right, fingers to the left. We're going to set multiple blades. Make sure that the blade is, is thinner than your smallest diameter of your part that you want to grind. So if you want to grind a part that has, this matter is 110, make sure your blade is at least 100 or less. Like we're going to send, what, a 25, a 50, and a... Yeah, we're going to send a, a number of blades uh, with it that we had out of our cabinet, um, so you don't have to buy anything. And, uh, got, and what we did is we cut down your parts just to make it easier for us to handle but you'll need to put some kind of piece of wood on that side or uh, something along those lines. To set your grind length of your three and a half inches, we came up with a little stop. Down here, you're gonna also make up a stop that's gonna be smaller than your part diameter to ensure that it can get between the wheels without being pinched and being ground. So you wanna adjust your height, we add more washers or take washers away to fit it across the top of the blade. And we can adjust the depth by loosening the set screw, here, set screw here and moving your stop in and out. Once you've touched off and everything operates well, turn your wheels on, make sure that you can get the lever closed without hearing a lot of sparks and uh, banging the machine and the uh, blade up. We'll turn our coolant on. You take your rod, you'll have a 12 foot rod, you'll feed it up in. This is gonna be a nice short guy. So I can load it in like that. And I'm gonna reach over, make sure your lock is tight on the ram. And then slowly bring down the lever. You don't want to just slam it down. If you grab around the base here, rest your forearm on the knob, and get a nice slow feed rate on there. Open it back up. As you get, as you get the technique down, what you'll what you'll learn to do is you might want to increase your regulating wheel speed so you can bring the lever over faster, so you can get a faster cycle time. We're just getting you a good part. And, um, and that's where we're at with that.
Okay, so when you get up and going, you have need a call, and he'll uh, he'll get you up and going. Say bye, Nate.